Hello everyone, I hope you had a great weekend and today I come back with some good and bad news. Um, <clears throat> good thing is that Rector finally ran. I did some trial and error after we finished our stream. Uh, basically, I <clears throat> removed Rector from our project, like we did on the stream, <clears throat> removed any plugins. And then I tried to install Rector again and it magically worked. You can see here Rector's output and I was trying to show you just what I did. So basically I removed Rector, installed it, required it again, and then the Rector plugin for Laravel. And then I ran it like we were running it here. You can see. <laughs> a rector process and it just went um, I was thinking if it had anything to do with PHP version but I didn't really change that so I'm really at a loss here uh, at what worked so it's probably one of those cases where you um, had to reboot something <laughs> And it mag magically started to work. So now Rector ran. Let's go and see in what version of Laravel we are. I think we haven't up upgraded to version 7. So PHP Artisan Info or help. Oh, also, um, I did some tweaking on my mic settings and hopefully uh, the mic volume is a bit better today um, if you find that it's too low still uh, just send me a message and then i'll try and tweak it uh, a little bit further um, oh i still don't have that command here so what is yeah let's go check the php the laravel version on the oh, wrong project on the composer.json uh, file um, so if as I was saying sorry if the mic volume is still too low please let me know and I'll try and um, go through that again um, by the way if you're using Streamlabs desktop I can show you what I did uh, sorry for the picture in the picture basically I have my mic here and then I looked at this cogwheel and we can um, adjust some properties and what I what I did was I adjusted the gain so where where was that uh, it was a gain setting it should be hmm. now I've lost that again I'm pretty sure it was here on this cogwheel oh filters filters added filters I added some noise suppression to see if uh, some background noises were being not uh, recorded and then I added some gain to the mic and I think that the volume is a little bit better now. So let's go back to the main reason that we are here and we are wanting to bump our Laravel project from version 6 to version 7. And let's go again as we are used to already to go through the upgrade guide and we need to add the requirement for Laravel, Laravel, oops, Laravel 7 collision. Let's see if we use that. We don't. Uh, PHP unit. I think we already have a version higher than that. Eight. Oh no, we need to specify 8.5 and let me copy that because i'm not sure what that symbol is on my keyboard <laughs> using a different layout than the one that i have on my system so 
it comes with that and ignition I don't use it uh, browser kit void nova passport okay uh, and let's try and run this and then we'll see if we have any problems so composer update minus w and let's see if this will be a straightforward upgrade and for now it is okay so this is quick now let's go through all the changes that we might have to do well with seven you utilize the symphony components so I think we need to go to our exceptions handler and declare that as functions accept instances of the throwable interface let's open the file while it finishes running and I don't actually use those um, functions here so I don't think I need to change anything Failed methods on jobs, I don't have jobs. I need to update my session configuration. Secure option to have a fallback of no. So let's go through that. Session, do I have a key for secure? Yes, and let's paste that here. And I find it odd that I still I have such a long time to wait for this uh, optimized auto load files to generate. I keep thinking that I might have a, a file permissions issue. File permissions issue. Okay, and we have a problem here with the routes. And we need to install Laravel UI package. Okay, let's see how we do that. Uh, is there any okay <laughs> it's the next step so let's let's just get on and continue reading what we need to do here symphony console I don't have any custom commands so now we need to require Laravel UI and yeah it's a composer command I was thinking if it was uh, a line to put on our composer.json file, but it's not. And we now have Laravel UI. All authentication scaffolding has been moved. If you are using Laravel authentication, you should install. And if you were previously including this package, I wasn't. Okay, so token repository interface. I'm not writing any custom implementations and I'm not using blade components but we can look for that nope no blade components blade components in blade X nope I think this uh, was introduced probably on version 6 of 7 of Laravel and since this project was stopped on 5.2 I wasn't even using that so on eloquent add hidden and add invisible methods not using that booting and booted methods uh, I could be using this so let me read it more carefully have been added to eloquence to provide a place to conveniently define any logic that should be executed during the model boot process if I have model methods with these names I will need to rename them so no I was thinking that I was probably setting some observers on the models oh I forgot I still need to move these models onto their own folder but yeah booted booting and booted nothing dead serialization 
two array into JSON, two format dates for serialization. Now we use carbon. Um, this could be an issue, but I think we are only going to be able to check this when we try and uh, actually run the, um, the website. Yeah, the date format changed. I remember this change and I was so furious about it <laughs> because I had to change a lot on another application that I was running. If you would like to keep using the previous behavior, you can override. C oh, great. Um, thing is, I will actually. OK, we're going we're going to be coding a little bit now, which I didn't want to do. But since I want all my models to keep using this format, I will go on and do something that is going to break. Oh God, I was hoping I didn't have to do this right now. Basically, I want all my models to have that. So instead of adding this function to all of my models, I think I'm going to write a custom model that the models on my application will extend instead of extending Laravel's base model. Let's just do it. And also uh, namespace problems are easy to, to discover. And let's call models directory. Is it models or model? Models. Let's move all our models there. I'm hoping that. Uh, let me just check the, the directory in Laravel GitHub. I'm hoping that um, PHP Storm will help me refactor all the those class names <laughs> uh, so laravel github and it's app models plural with a high case on the m okay well now let's try and move this Move set. Oh, great. Great, great, great. Refactor. Search in comments. Search for text. Um, let me try and see what this will do. And. <clears throat> okay, so this is the chain. This is uh, what it caught. But will it change? Yeah, let's try it. If it doesn't work, uh, I think I can always go back. Let's try and just open a random controller to see if the model's namespace were updated. Mm -mm. Adiantamento. And where does this come from? Where is the namespace for that class? For that model? What? Um, what just happened here? <laughs> Use, oh, okay. Models, yeah, so they were changed. Um, why is this not? Let's not even <laughs> try and get into it now. <laughs> Otherwise, we won't be doing anything else. And um, final thing is models. Let's just copy one of these and let's call it uh, base model. Add it to git and base model extends model and what we're going to do is to add this so that our dates are set 
for our site now are formatted how we want them to we can remove this we can remove this and now all of our models except for this one let me yep replacing files so what i want to change is extends model to extends oops i'm missing an s base model i think this is it replace oh it was removed let's replace all and extends base model yeah so <laughs> i thought that this one i had removed and now our model extends the base model that we created where we define how to serialize the date and it is extends laravel model so that's it and i'm just not sure if i'm using the date format like this or if it's um day month year since i'm in europe <laughs> uh, but if we have any problems with that it should be a quick and easy fix on one single place moving on i'm not using factories route binding binding I'm not using that yet, I think. Mm, but either ways, I'm not implementing that interface, so it shouldn't be an issue. Only if you are overriding those methods. HTTP. I'm not using that package. Mail. Am I sending some mails? I think I could be. Uh, where do mailables go? Where do mailables go? Resources, views, and I'm probably not sending any mails. It's just email, email, send verification notification. Yes, that's come that comes with with Laravel. So yeah, I'm not sending any emails on this app, which I kind of thought I was. Either way, um, oh, but this is a configuration, so I think we need to update that in order to support multiple mailers. The default mailer configuration has changed to include an array of mailers. In order to preserve backwards compatibility, the old format file is still supported, so no changes are required. But yeah, I will want to examine the new mail configuration file. And also the mail driver has been remained, <laughs> renamed to mail mailer so yeah that i will change on dot env but i'm so sorry i won't be showing you that and oops wrong showing you my screen and change this configuration let's open what i currently have here mail and um, can i do this side by side how is it with windows 11 i know i can draw up here and then yep perfect and quick and easy so default mail mailer and then oops uh sorry let me check again because i might have some configuration
there's another tip always store sensitive keys and data on your .env file and not on your config files so what I think I'll do is I'll just copy this new configuration file and I will replace the contents of my old configuration file and that's it moving on markdown mail template updates they were refreshed I wasn't using them Swift mailer bindings I'm not using that either either or either hmm. I think both ways of saying that could be correct um, JSON resources I'm not using those the router get routes method not using that either unique route names Uh, it is no longer possible on Laravel 7 to use routes with the same name. Um, I don't think I'm using named routes on this project, but if I am, I'm sure that this will throw an error of some kind um, or unexpected behavior. Uh, but we can always check that in the future. Let me just run PHP artisan route list just to take a quick look at what is happening and we have a problem with our login controller that doesn't exist and i think this is because of the move for laravel ui which we'll have to check in a little bit because i do think that laravel ui you have to install something uh, where are you? Laravel UI. Let me just take a quick read. Sorry. Composer require and then, yep, you need to install the front end scaffolding. I was using Bootstrap for this project. I'm not sure um, if I can continue to use that and because of the Laravel collective package. And if I can't, uh, I think I will just be moving this project to Jetstream. Uh, sorry, I always mix up those names. To um, Filament. So that would be basically creating a new app from scratch. Um, but let's go and try and use Bootstrap UI with auth and we can't no such file or directory manage resources JS bootstrap while copying Bootstrap.php line 70. I wonder if I should spend a lot of time going after this error right now. Let's see how much we have to still go through. Oh, uh, the upgraded guide is almost done, so let's just go and finish it and then we'll deal with this problem here if we don't have to run any commands we shouldn't have a problem so unique route names yeah i was trying to list route names so we'll do that afterwards and course support we need to install a course library and <laughs> it was not removed on laravel 9 or 10 i think but we'll get there when we get there and we need to add this class middleware to our kernel global middleware middleware list kernel uh, console or http http so i opened the wrong one 
Oops. HTTP middleware and what is the global global middleware list so it should be this one and what do I need to add this class it should be it now <coughs> and the session array driver is now persistent okay I'm not testing and I'm pretty sure I'm not using that rule <coughs> Okay, now let's tackle what is the problem with Laravel UI. Uh, let's copy this error and see what we have. Could this be? Let's see. On serve, nope, that's not it. And that's not it. Let me try Laravel slash UI. Laravel 8 Bootstrap UI does not install. Yeah, that could be our problem. Let's see. Yep, this is it for different versions, but hopefully the solution is the same. You need to install jQuery and jQuery UI as well as Popper. Um, yeah, but what does that have to do with it? Here's the solution of Stack Overflow. Create a project, require Laravel UI, PHP Artisan UI Bootstrap Auth. That's what I did, I think. PHP Artisan UI Bootstrap Auth. Uh, but how is this solution? Let's try and install npm first and then we'll try and run that command again to see what happens nope, wrong answer and here's the same problem with the same solution Download bootstraps files to this. Mm -mm. So the problem here is probably that we didn't have bootstrap yet. Maybe. Let's see. So when I started this um, project, I pretty sure didn't yeah, yeah that command. Uh, I pretty sure didn't uh, add the assets on the correct files for Laravel to use. So that is why oops we had a problem. So that was my alarm, and we have some errors. New major versions available for npm. Let me try and do that to see if we don't have any problems anymore. Okay, let me try and oh. <laughs> run npm install again. And it should be run dev. Either ways, if there are any version updates, uh, they should be installed now. And let's see if we don't have that nasty error. I, I, I always fear NPM errors because they are so ugly. <laughs> and since I'm not really um, that knowledgeable on them, it's always something that I really don't want to see. Yep, we still have a problem, which is... Node SAS. Mm. 
There's a problem with node sas. Let me just try and run npm run dev. Yep. And this is a problem. Oh, we don't even. Wow. npm run. I wonder <clears throat> if I am missing some configuration files for npm down here, which I can't remember their names, but it's where that run dev command should be. Dev master, no, this is a branch. I know in my mind, <laughs> the the style of the file that i'm looking for but i just don't remember its name let me just quickly try and go to the laravel github repository move to laravel 6 7 7 and i'm pretty sure i'm missing one of these files uh style ci don't think so package.json probably webpack.mix yep not this one <clears throat> yes uh, package.json and it's really different let me just copy this one and the webpack.mix it's the same resources JS app, yep, SAS app, CSS, yep, it's the same. Let's try and run this command again npm run dev. Okay, different thing to see. Let's try npm install. Since our package.json file is different. The uh, package.json file uh, to npm is the same as the composer.json file is to PHP. And yes, we don't have any problems now. Let's try and run dev. There are vulnerabilities here. Um, I won't be using this project to, to go online and we are updating it. So I'm not really concerned with that for now. As we are going through Laravel versions, we are going to be changing versions of um, those packages anyways. But in the end, I will need to, to, to look at this. So, um, Yep, everything is running now. We have just upgraded to Laravel 7. Thank you for joining me. And on our next video, we'll be probably moving this app from Laravel 7 to Laravel 8. Yep, version in between. And that's, we'll, what, that's what we'll be doing next time. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day and see you next time.